All right, so the biggest upset I would have with the beast truck, the reason why the Tesla truck sucks. Hey everyone, thanks for stopping in. My name is Brett with Shiny Jets and we are an aircraft detailing company, but right behind us we have a Tesla truck that I didn't know how to turn on or move. All right, so I had to Google how to drive this thing. But uh, a friend of mine, you may know him as Gear Down Thomas, just got this and uh, he wants a wash and we're gonna ceramic coat all the leather seats, get those protected and we'll see how it turns out. So I've heard some bad reviews on washing these things and how they get rust. And I can see right here, we've got tire dressing flinging all over the side. So I don't know how I'm gonna have to tackle that uh, without you know, putting a patina on the stainless on this thing. So we're not experts in cars at all. We just do aircraft and you see probably right behind us, we are buffing out this King Air and ceramic coating it for years of protection with my actual products, which are called Fly Shiny. So we have a line of products uh, that are specifically designed for aircraft. Uh, some of it you can use on cars too, which may be helpful. So, all right, let's get after this. So the biggest upset I would have with the beast truck, the reason why the Tesla truck sucks <laughs> from my standpoint is actually just cleaning it. So this is, you know, like I said, tire dressing here flung up and my dry wash, uh, fly shiny static guard is removing it slightly, but I got to come back with alcohol and really kind of clean it out. You don't want to use cleaners cause it could uh, create a patina on the uh, bare stainless steel. So, um, yeah, you just want to remove it with alcohol, uh, any of the stains, um, but fingerprints and oils are, are actually staining this. So that kind of sucks. You spend so much money on a truck and the uh, finish all over it is uh, damaged just by fingerprints and stuff like that. So that's my only drawback on the thing, but such a cool truck. All right, let's get back to it. Okay, so you can see here all these little dots. So that's what it is, this staining in here and fingerprints on the doors and stuff like that. So we got a little bit of alcohol on the towel. You're just gonna wanna wipe it. And flip the towel, wipe it dry. And we're good. So you can see it got rid of those. There's still some stains and stuff like that. Uh, but for the most part, and if there's some, some stubborn ones, you can just rub a little harder, but a lot of the fingerprints are not coming off. Um, the oils, whatever was in it, uh, formed a patina and the, the metal reacted. So there you have it. It's much more finicky than a refrigerator. And uh, I hope this thing, this truck has some gray poupon or something, at least, right? <laughs> All right, so for the Tesla Cybertruck, 
we definitely want to make sure that, so we got a bunch of leather in here. We've got your standard leather and then we've got suede. So we're not gonna, I'm not gonna coat any of the suede leather. Um, and actually in our course, we go over cleaning how, how to clean suede leather. Um, it's actually very simple. And, uh, but we've got all the leather cleaned and we are ready to coat. So we're gonna use a ceramic coating that's designed for leather. Uh, you don't wanna just go on Amazon and get a ceramic coating. We get something designed for leather. The benefits of it is it's gonna prevent tr uh, dye transfer. Uh, you only need to clean it with a damp microfiber towel. You don't need to condition it and all that stuff. And it works great. Now, uh, the high traffic areas of leather, it definitely will uh, wear down after, after a while, but uh, you can just replenish that. Uh, I'd suggest just cleaning it again and recoating. So, all right, let's do this. Oh, so we've got an applicator and then we've got a ultra plush microfiber towel. This is really gonna pick up all of the ceramic very easily uh, because there's more surface area. These microfiber hairs are split and it will uh, pick up the ceramic right away. So you wanna do one little panel, wipe it. One little panel, wipe it. One little panel, wipe it. And that way you won't have any uneven areas like where you wiped and then it cured without you being able to level it out and uh, tone it down. So that's the ticket. All right, well, all in all, I think Elon Musk did a pretty good job on the Cybertruck. It's kind of cool. Uh, the tires crab. Um, some of the hangups for me was obviously the staining in the uh, exterior and then the roll up the, the bed uh, in between those little cracks. Kind of hard to clean when doing a dry wash. Pressure washer would do a lot better job. But all in all, pretty cool truck. So we got it washed. We've got all the leather ceramic coated and yeah, turned out great. A couple tips is uh, with the alcohol, make sure you're using a new towel. You might use two towels, one wet one, one dry one. So you can wipe it, then wipe it dry. Uh, do not let the uh, alcohol just sit on there and evaporate. It'll leave kind of streaks from where you're wiping. And uh, as far as the leather, uh, it's really nice leather. I like the feel of the leather in here. Uh, but you definitely want to make sure that uh, if you're going to ceramic coat it, a leather, uh, a ceramic coating designed for leather, a cleaner designed for leather, and it'll keep it lasting a long, long time, protected and less staining issues. And uh, like I said, testing in an inconspicuous spot in, in your cyber truck and then uh, then going doing small sections at a time one panel at a time instead of wiping it on the whole thing and then wiping it off so all right let's go